I am on a roll today. Hey guys, I'm here with a haul for you. This is a birch box. Um, and actually this is a swap that I did with Freebie Ninja. So he earned a crap load of points with that whole $1 birch box deal. So he did a swap with a couple of people, me being one of them. So I have my swap stuff here that I purchased. Um, I'm also gonna throw in some Sephora stuff in here that I purchased some Sephora, um, just because they kind of go together. Um, but let me try to do this as quickly as possible because I know my videos can kind of get drawn out and long and blah blah blah. So the first thing that I got here from Birchbox is this 100% Pure. If you haven't tried 100% Pure from Birchbox, I definitely highly recommend you check it out. So if you haven't tried 100% Pure from Birchbox um, or from wherever they do sell it from, I'm not sure where else they sell it. It is awesome. This is the vanilla bean version and this is the body cream. I got this in a birch box once, a small sample in a birch box, and I loved it. It smells like like cupcakes and it just smells divine. Vanilla bean, yum. So um, I really love this and it's very creamy and feels amazing on the skin. This is fantastic. So I had to get this one. Okay, so I also got the um, professional just because I know that I this I love this. This is just such a great, great face primer. If you haven't tried it, I would definitely recommend it. It's very, it's different. It's not very um, like gel-like or anything. It's, it's different. It's kind of creamy but thick and it's closed right now so I'm not going to open it right now. But um, this is such a great face primer. It kind of fill, it does fill in your pores. I mean it does a really great job at making your makeup last all day and making you kind of look flawless. So cute pa packaging. You can kind of pop this open for whatever the reason is. I don't know. I guess whatever. Fun. It says here um, just to minimize the appearance of pores. Prime and touch up during the day contains a vitamin E derivative known to protect skin from free radicals. Next is the Smashbox Try It Kit Halo and BB Cream. So in here it comes with, um, again, it comes with all the little things that you saw in the little picture. It has a little brush. It has a mini Smashbox primer. And it has a very small Smashbox um, Camera Ready BB Cream. So um, the one that I got here, what color? This is in light medium. Is the shade that I chose, and I chose a shade that is just too dark for my skin. So I don't know if I want to return it and get a shade, the light shade, because uh, I don't know what to do. So this is the one that I got here, and you can see that it's just too dark for me. It just doesn't. It's not gonna work. I mean, I guess I could mix it in with something lighter, but I don't know if I want to go that route. So I'm contemplating returning this and getting the lighter one because as well as this powder too. The powder is going to be the same. This is the Halo Light Medium, if I can open it. So it just comes like this. I kind of took a peek into it. Like I looked in there and you can see how dark the powder is, but I didn't use it because I'm just like, I, I already know that it's not going to be the shade for me. So I'm disappointed because I got two things from Smashbox and I got both light medium and they're, they're obviously both going to be too dark. I was really excited to use that. So I don't know. I'll contact Birch, Birchbox and see. All right, the next thing, let me go ahead and pull up the other Smashbox thing. This is the Smashbox um, Photo Filter Powder Foundation. I haven't used powder foundations, but I'm very curious. I want, wanted to try it. It's the summertime and you want to use something lighter. And I hear tell that these powder foundations are very light. So this is what this one looks like right here. It looks, it actually doesn't look too dark. Maybe I can use this one. I didn't really try it yet but maybe it'll work. It comes with a little sponge on the bottom part here. Um, I don't know, maybe I can try this one out. This one looks, it's the same thing, it's light medium as well. Um, it's in number five. Actually, it doesn't, it says, 
Oh, it doesn't say light medium. It says number five on it. So maybe this one is completely different from the other one. So I'll go ahead and try this one out and see how it works out. So, okay, yay. So I can use one of them. So it's just the try kit. Maybe I'll just get another one. Maybe I'll just do that. And maybe it's not worth it to go ahead and try to send it back. Next, I got from Benefit. This is one of their box blushes. This is in Dandelion. I heard a lot of great things about them. This is a really light one. So I was really curious to know how this will work. It has a little tiny small mirror in there. And it comes with a little brush, which I rarely use the brushes that come in these Benefit boxes. Um, and then it has like um, a little like plastic cover or whatever. So let me turn this around. So this is the blush itself. It's a light, light color. And they all smell, I don't know if they all smell different, but they all have a scent to them. This one smells almost like a perfumey candy. Does that make any sense? Doesn't matter. So um, that's what that one looks like right there. It's very, very light. You can see that. I don't know how I'm going to work it, but I really wanted to try this dandelion blush, even though it's a really light color. So that's cool. Next I got from Derma Blend. This is the Liquid Camo Smooth. This is medium coverage, it says here. Um, this one is in Cephia. So I always wanted to try Derma Blend because you know you see those videos from Derma Blend and um, that's like some serious full coverage kind of thing. This is not the um, cream foundation, this is the liquid one. So let me just put a little tiny bit on the back of my hand so you can kind of see, but I, I think it's very pigmented. Let's check it out, huh, shall we? Okay, so it says medium coverage, but it looks pretty good to me. I mean, look at that. I think it, I think it's pretty good. Next, I got, I'm super excited about this one. This is from Nails Inc. London, it says. I've never tried anything from them before, but look at those shades. Let me zoom you in so you can see how pretty those shades are. I love this green one, the pink one, and this Actually, all of them, I'm not into the reds or anything like that, but these here, pretty. I might throw this into the giveaway that I'm having. Um, really pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm super excited about this. So this is the Spring Summer Gel Effect Collection. Really nice. I'm so excited about this one. Yikes, don't break it. Next is from Laura Geller. This is Flawless in a Flash. And it's just a collection. It says a collection of on-the-go favorites. So this bag is super duper soft. Um, it's really pretty. It has a nice little um, thing here that says Laura Geller, and it's a nice little wristlet. So when you open it up, inside you get a small brush right here. What else do we got? We have a nice size spackle hydrating moisture under makeup primer. We have a mascara. This is the Glam Lash Dramatic Volumizing Mascara. Then we have the, I think this is a foundation, Baked Balance and Brighten Foundation in Medium. I'm hoping that the shade is not going to be too dark. Um, so it's got dark and light tones all in there, so I'm excited to try it out. And then lastly in the bag, you have a blush. This is the Baked Color True Blush in Catalina. And this is a very pretty, pretty color, really pretty shade. So that is my birch box stuff. Super excited. What an awesome swap. Can't be beat that when you can just choose whatever the heck you want from a swap. So that was pretty awesome. Let's move on to the Sephora haul that I did. Um, I'm going to add this actually when I did my my um, Ulta haul and I got that Becca foundation, which was just didn't agree with my skin. It just looked like it was like separating like water and oil just it didn't work well so i switched it up for this tarte foundation this is the tarte amazonian clay um, 12 hour full coverage foundation so this is really nice really really nice um, i just did a favorites video and there the l'oreal foundation that's in there is comparable to this the l'oreal is a little bit more mattifying and it lasts i think it lasts it might last longer than this one but they they're both comparable in my opinion and then i also got the birthday gift from ulta here this is just the violet colored um voodoo purple liner that they have for your birthday gift from ulta so don't forget to get your birthday gift 
Um, you do have to put in a code even if you go to the store. You have to check your email. You need to bring that email with you so that they can put the little code in there. So be prepared for that because I wasn't and I had to search. Um, all right, so from Sephora, I picked up, this is a solid brush cleaner. Um, and this is pretty cool. I've heard a lot of things about solid um, cleaners for your brushes. This one comes with a little sponge here with like um, a little texture sponge where you, when you rub your brush into the soap, which the soap has, I believe it has like argan or something. Let me see what it has. Okay, so there are different consistencies. The Dark Cruella is a velvet matte lip pencil, and then the Mulvey one is a satin lip pencil. So they're just a tad bit. You can kind of see the sheen in the satin one. So that's everything that I got from Birchbox and Sephora and a little bit from Ulta. And um, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you again in another video.